everybody. I hope you enjoyed the app modernization event where Ray O'Farrell and Joe Veda introduced Tanzu Mission Control. My name is Boski Salvla and I'm a technical marketing manager for VMware. Today we are going to take a deeper look at how Tanzu Mission Control and its policy engine implement security policies across multiple clouds. A lot of businesses today are adopting cloud-native architectures like containers and Kubernetes in order to stay ahead of competition and to succeed at adapting digital footprints that consist of applications that are dynamic and changing at the pace that the business really needs them to do so. And containers and Kubernetes are great for application teams to drive efficiency. For example, application teams can bundle together an app in a container and then let Kubernetes run that app and scale that app automatically based on demand. Now, containers are great for doing so because they allow you to layer on custom code on top of each other. So for example, a team can pull a container from the internet and then add a custom code that's necessary to run a business application. On top of that, or run the container along with Kubernetes. While this is great in terms of efficiency for the teams that are developing these applications, the same reason can be a cause for concern for organizations in terms of security. Now, why is that a case? A lot of times, uh, containers that are offloaded or downloaded from the internet can have vulnerabilities and security holes that may be a threat to the organization in itself. Now, this is where Tanzu Mission Control comes in. Tanzu Mission Control, with its policy engine around image registry, will help operation teams define certain baseline policies around what registries are allowed to download container images and run them on Kubernetes clusters. Let's take a quick look at how Tanzu Mission Control does that. So I'm currently logged into Tanzu Mission Control where I have all my Kubernetes clusters created or attached into a single console. I also have different groups or namespaces grouped together as a workspace in Tanzu Mission Control. A workspace essentially is a collection of namespaces where applications reside. In this demo, we have a workspace called Acme Fitness Production or Acme Fitness Dev Testing that consists of namespaces that are spread across clusters from Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud. Currently, a development team can use any of these clusters and deploy a container image from the internet. Let's take a look at how to apply a consistent policy in this case. So we are going to go to Policies, get into Image Registry, Select the workspace. In our case, we are going to select the Acme Fitness Dev Staging workspace, which consists namespaces from AWS and Google Cloud, and add an image registry policy. What I'm going to do is select a private registry that the organization owns and only allow that or registry to download container images into these clusters. Now, once this policy is set by Tanzu Mission Control, in the back end, Tanzu Mission Control is getting into each of the cluster and defining that exact policy for image control into individual namespaces within these clusters. So let's take a look at one of the AWS clusters and see if this actually works. So right now, I'm logged into one of the AWS clusters that is part of that particular cluster group. Now let's take a look at any pods that are currently running within the inventory namespace. Right now, there are no pods running. Let's try and download a generic container image from the internet on Docker Hub. I'm going to use Nginx as my pod to demonstrate this. What this is going to do is download the default Nginx image or the container image from Docker Hub. You'll see the deployment being created. However, if you take a look at the pods that are running, you'll see none of the pods were deployed. This is because the container image registry policy is in effect. So this is how Tanzu Mission Control with its policy engine allows organizations to run consistent policy across multiple clouds. For more information on this, please log on to cloud.vmware.com. Thank you.